Hi there Cancer, how are you doing today? Welcome to your three month forecast and we're going to be looking at a little bit of everything for the next three months through April, May and June and seeing what's coming towards you, what energies you're working with, spiritual gateways that are opening, situations that might be coming into you and this is uh, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and North Node and let's have a look at what energy is predominantly going to be sitting around April, May and June and then we'll get more detail on what's happening in those months for you. Okay, we have, okay, is this three? Yeah, we have Mercury the mind. So we do have, this came up quicker than I anticipated. Um, for the astrology, we do have Mercury in Aries at the moment. It goes retrograde from the 1st to the 25th of April. Uh, we've got the sun move, and then it moves direct and then goes through the signs into Taurus, Gemini, and it will go into Cancer. Um, after, I think it's past the three months. Um, but we do have the sun moving into Cancer in your area, your energy on the 20th of June. Um, so for... April we have a lot happening in the mind so Mercury retrograde it this is asking us to be slower with with thought processes to look at patterns this is things sometimes coming in from the past for us as well but this is really looking at how we're thinking and there's opportunity for breakthroughs with our mind communication thought patterns um, and how we absorb knowledge as well and in May, we've got water elements, so your energy, and this is all about sensing. So this is sensing from your emotional body, from your knowing, from your inner awareness, your inner wisdom, your spiritual self. And um, then in June, we move to first house energy, which is all around the body. So this is about how we are being in tune with our body. Maybe this is, for some of you, how our reactions how our mind is affecting our emotions and how our emotions is, are affecting our body and it's this kind of journey that's happening over the next three months being very aware of what's happening in the physical space that's what we're moving towards in june and um, through this journey let's have a look at what's happening in the physical we do also have a um, solar eclipse happening um over the next three months as well let's have a look um venus also moves into cancer on the 17th of june which is the planet of love uh, the planet of joy pleasure it's our empress energy but let's have a look what is coming in april may june what kind of physical transformations are occurring We've got Stranger, Curiosity. This energy here is about being, so with, with your Cancer energy as well, with Cancer being strong for you, viewer, this, it's about what scares us about what's strange. So something coming in that's the unknown, it's moving away from being in um, a worry that that, that is going to be destabilizing on any kind of uh, security level and being curious about it instead so this the mind and curiosity is really about being curious in our mind space and about how we're exploring knowledge about information that comes in how we communicate that being in a very curious energy and then in may we've got the benefactor grace and generosity this is being very generous of emotion generous of giving this is the gratitude and grace as well this is everyone benefiting from emotion our emotional stability our sensing our emotional awareness to others and the the benefit that has for the people around us and then in june dream thief refusal of the call so where we're moving, so the first house is all around our sense of self. This is our personality. This is our own personal journey house. So where we, what is in our, our identity, how we identify with ourselves, our body, how our personality is impacting 
everybody around us, the things we're doing, the things we decide to do, as well as other uh, aspects in our chart, of course, because our whole chart is our kind of energetic blueprint. But the dream thief is about what is happening in our life that is taking us off course and about how we can come back to our sense of self, our sense, our senses in the body and be be make make sure that we're aligned and it could be anything that happens on a on a stranger level these things that come in that feel like they could be a, a little bit out of the norm for us with the stranger curiosity it's welcoming in the stranger and asking what it what it wants this stranger could come in in energy it could be a person it could be a new job this is something moving and shifting but that feels very new and the energy invites us to be curious about the new and not scared about the new um, moving away from familiarity into something that feels very true this feels linked to north node south node energy for you as well viewer let's have a look what spiritual activations are happening through the next three months as well let's have a look at spiritual activation what's happening for cancer in the month of April and May and June. So we'll get one card for each. Whoops. There we go. What's happening April, May, June for cancer? I think we need a different shuffle here. There we go. There we go. Okay. So with this Mercury energy in the mind, We've got I am presence, light body activation, accessing the, accessing the divine within. This is all about going deeper. This I am presence is extremely powerful. This is the initiation into the body, into this, into June, what's happening in June. And in May, we have Palladian activation, coming together, harmony in the heavens and resolution. And with this benefactor energy, it's all about the everybody around us. It's not just us. It's everybody benefiting in our in our soul tribe, in our family, in our just in our remit. Everybody that we touch, who's benefiting, and we're really on an emotional level here. This is about picking up emotional energy, being able to transform, transmute emotional energy, sense what's around us, sense in the collective, and especially with this Palladian energy coming through. This is about being in harmony and at one with greater divine consciousness and energy that's flowing through. And for June, we have Order of, Order of Melchizedek, Embrace Light, Embraced by Light, Mission Uncovered, Don't Give Up. So our sense of self and our dream thief energy, which is the refusal of the call, is something not aligning to our greater purpose. And with this, it's what's being activated is our mission. So if you feel a little bit lost in anything or if there's new things coming in and we're not sure about them, they're all leading to being on our mission pathway. This is why it feels like uh, North Node energy for you. Okay, let's have a look at what healing is occurring through the next three months. What healing is happening around all of this, the cancer energy. Have a look. Oops. Okay, there we go. I think we've got one more shuffle. No, one more. Okay. So what's being healed, especially with this stranger curiosity and cancer energy? Cancer is all about security in the home. Um, so this could be very uncomfortable. We've got family and tribe. Yep, so it's this is a family in the home energy. So what's happening in family in the home? What is happening in our sense of security? How are we thinking about all of that? I am presence is also about staying completely in the moment, staying in the present moment. For some of you, this is strangers coming in that are soul connections. And we've got a soulmate in May. For some of you, this is sensing somebody's on their way to you and them, them coming in. And we've got Phoenix rising. Wow. 
this is awesome cancer this is awesome energy you really are in like aligning with with your mission here anybody who is not anybody who transitions out of your life or any situation that transitions out of your life over april and may is because they are not aligned with your true calling you're transcending let's have a look at action energy and then we'll have a look at um some doors opening for you with this some with this energy some opportunities coming away that spirit want you to be aware of this dream thief energy as well is about and this is all your june energy is about um somebody who is preventing or hiding or hoodwinking something that you need to see this stranger feels very positive we've got hades death we are trans we're really trans transitioning from ways of thinking who can help us ways of thinking about our insecurity ways of thinking around what is divine within us what is divine without we're going through a huge transformation here and there is i do feel there's going to be transitioning out of people in your life that feel perhaps feel quite um important now or have felt quite secure connections they're transitioning out because they're not in alignment or something to do with the connection isn't in alignment with this purpose that we're moving to in june aries war this is we so we've got mercury retrograde in aries over these three months okay and this is with the action of war the action of being uh, strategic with mercury coming out but also the sensing of what is alive within us sensing where our courage needs to be sensing it, it could be a courage of welcoming in a soulmate it could be a courage of this kind of giving um there could be feeling like a limitation of how much you give of yourself because of judgment perhaps with other people in family or or people around you and we're sensing on an emotional level where healing is needed for self and for other and we've got set chaos what's happening in may with the uh with this activate the palladian activation uh with this resolution there's things that are coming into resolution for your highest good and then you're having this rising from the phoenix after this healing of people i feel quite strongly people transitioning um out of your life but coming in and having this more curious playful almost energy but this very strategic energy about how to take care of others how to transmute transition energy as well for i feel like this is really for the collective and it's like whatever chaos is happening whatever kind of hoodwinking is happening whatever and um, smoke and mirrors is occurring you you coming back completely to yourself to your mission and the chaos the chaos around you doesn't waver your sense of grounding, your sense of security, your own sense of home. Okay, let's have a look at opportunities or doors opening for you. Okay, we have for April, we've got sunset. Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sun's light burns. Pass this card on. So things are sunsetting. Things are sunsetting in the mind space in how we perceive connections there's things transitioning with death and sunset here things are transitioning through oops <laughs> through the month of april i'm going to take the two that flipped here um we have for may 11 11 numbers in doubles synchronicity in two don't hold back your love now life is meant for you if there is anything about being restrictive in the love space this is going to be healed in may okay there's going to be something that comes perhaps through stranger in from april but the energy really clicks into place in may and your sense of opening your sense of being 
at one with the emotions in the collective, your own emotions and other people's emotions comes in, but you're able to transition and transmute this energy. And we've got passages, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. Yep. So we experience something in the physical that helps us transition spiritually. We're understanding the emotions behind that. We're understanding the the this our sixth sense a lot. That there's a deepening of sixth sense energy, and we're really understanding truth from illusion in June. But there's signs being sent to us in um, in May to to encourage us that we're on the right path, to confirm to us we're on the right path. Let's have a look at June. We've got forgive and forget. Yeah, this is very. This is to do with heart space. If there's any conflict that comes in in May, to do around family around soulmate connections around romantic connections for some there's a forgiveness and a release that happens in june for all of that and it's like there's a whole new way of thinking that's occurring for you in april and it just is taking a, a little bit of time to integrate and open up but you are in this phoenix rising and the chaos doesn't feel like bad chaos it feels like there's just a lot going on a lot changing and it needs your full presence and your full awareness which is why we've got this initiation of i am presence happening right at the beginning of april and we've got forgive and forget a ritual cleansing of pain and lies arise and waken see a new sunrise this lies is about people that have been in your life that have stopped you from progressing unfortunately this is June is all about you cancer it's all about you let's have a look at just some words of wisdom around these energies before we go into the tarot let's have a look what does cancer need to know for April May and June uh, yeah in April boundaries put a ring around yourself and your energies somebody around you and it will transpire who or multiple people are holding you back from being in your full, full purpose energy, your full self energy. But that's being ignited. So don't worry, it's not going to pass you by. You're not going to be taken off your pathway. What's going to happen is you're, it will be enlightened as to what's happening in your life that is that has been holding back. There's just timing here but there's activation as well that's needed before you get to this energy in, in June and in May we've got the dark take a moment to sit under the stars star speckled sky listening to crickets and breathing in the cool night air this it really feels strongly with this I mean we've got the sunset and then we've got death we've got sunset which is like um something happening like in our version of the dark but also the physical dark putting boundaries in place to make sure that we're protected that we have our we've protected our our sanctity of home if you like um and then there is people or something going to cross our pathway that feels unfamiliar but true and it's following that and allowing our senses to guide us instead of our mind to guide us it's allowing our senses to, to guide us but using our mind for this strategical anything strategical that's needed in May and this is now no longer being afraid of the dark no longer being afraid of something that feels dark there is there's lightness the brightest light happens in the dark and that's kind of what's being activated here as well um because something illuminates in in June for you for your for this mission for this energy for this phoenix rising this is all transformational energy, a lot of fire energy. What else for June? Does Cancer need to know, please, Spirit? What else for June? Oh, what's this one? Inspire. There's a fire inside you burning brighter than the sun. Exactly. <laughs> doesn't matter what darkness is there, it doesn't matter what unknowns are around or coming in or that you're aware of, you are 
brightness in yourself. You don't need that light from anybody else. This isn't going to resonate for everybody, but for some of you, this is uh, a not nice romantic or or friendship connection where somebody's actively holding you where you are without letting you flourish. And that won't be the same, the same for everybody. Um, for others, this is going to be the energy of being able to move away um, without any feeling of guilt, being able to move away kind of in your on your own pathway, not necessarily physically, um, but on your own pathway because the people around you will encourage you and you'll see that they'll encourage you once you start moving forward or exploring new things, going in a different direction in your own life. Yeah, okay, so I've got different tarot decks for each month so that we get the full deck energy for each month. Um, so we're starting with April. We've got the Two of Swords. This is going into the unknown. This is not really not being aware completely of our emotional body, feeling disconnected from emotions, feeling like there's a lot of new, a lot of change happening, feeling that kind of uphill struggle with decisions, particularly in the mind or how we're thinking in the mind. This is the resistance that comes in before the release and the emotional awareness. But we can't see with our mind, we need what's happening here in April is an initiation almost to be fully in our senses, but to be fully in our senses, um, our, our emotional body, our emotional senses and the collective energy, we need to not see with our eyes. And we've got temperance. This is a bit of healing energy. This can be angel guidance as well. This is also tempering things, things in moderation. The things in moderation feel like if you're a homebody and you have a lot of security in the home space, um, this is coming out or you've you've been in big hermit mode. This is coming out of that mode and exploring something new, which feels scary, but necessary. And there's an underpinning of excitement here as well. But something sunsetting, you do need to protect your energy and your mind space of ideas people are kind of putting in in your mind space we've got the ace of swords there will be clarity okay truth and clarity the, I really feel like a lot of you a stranger in some way is going to offer the most profound truth yeah emotional fulfillment and it's going to be releasing on an emotional level and make you feel alive again emotionally and that takes you straight into May and we've got the moon yes deep dive into our emotional awareness, things that are dark, being able to see them in the dark, being able to balance. Yeah, and this is some of your energy coming out as well. Yeah, we're illusions no longer being illusions. In April, we're really starting to see some truth Wow, we've got the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. So you're, the, what's happening in the physical, this, this truth you learn is transpiring in the physical. So you'll make changes in the physical that make you feel a lot more independent. Where there's somebody else, for, again, this is not going to resonate for everybody. Where there's somebody or something else that is keeping you stuck, it could be a concept, an idea, um, anything. It's going to, you're going to be connected to it and understand it to it and start understanding it with your senses but not be attached to it yeah and you're going to realize that you're not attached and that you can walk through there's nothing blocking you at the moment it feels like there's something blocking you um but you're going to see that there's nothing blocking you and you're going to trust your senses a lot more okay let's have a look at may now for you so as we go into may we are understanding a lot more about our emotional body we've taken a deep dive in april so we come into may with a lot more awareness we've got the knight of wands and the eight of pentacles yeah we've been working very hard in in april to really understand and uncover things that feel hidden particularly emotions in the subconscious so eight of pentacles you're able to see your hard work 
come into play and there's more inspired action being taken. Okay, let's have a look. What else for May for Cancer Energy, please, Spirit? I feel like there's one more. There we go. One more shuffle. There we are. Okay, and we have Six of Cups. Feeling of nostalgia or somebody from your past. For some of you, this is somebody returning that feels like a, a soulmate connection. For others of you, this is a feeling of nostalgia coming in. This could be also somebody coming in where you have an opportunity to stand in your truth with how you feel or express how you felt about something in the past. Four of Wands. You're finding a different sense of security now that is a lot more inspiring with this ones, this fire transition energy. You are transitioning your sense of security from what it's been to something new. Four of Pentacles. Holding on to who you are, but letting everything else go. Oh, the Empress energy. Yeah. Nurturing self and nurturing other with this benefactor energy. And this is, this. there's a real collective energy, a healing collective energy with you, Cancer. Very powerful, actually, um, with this Empress energy coming out as well. But And with this Palladian activation, this is, this is the coming together. This is where things start to make sense. Six of Wands, victory. Yeah, you're on a, you're on a winner here. We've got Five of Swords, yeah. Something from the past gave you a headache and you're going to understand what it was. <laughs> Five of Wands. Moving away from conflict. This conflict is, there's going to, there could be an opportunity for some of you, somebody coming back from the past where you can really say what you felt. And if it's conflict, it's conflict, but you are still holding on to your beliefs, you're holding on to what you believe in, um, to your higher sense of purpose, because that's starting to come through. Yep, Three of Pentacles. So this is, oh, sorry, that's not in the center there. So this is people coming in that really are your soul tribe, finding answers in new places with the three of pentacles. Yep, collaborative working. And we've got that all the way through. There's something collaborative about the energies and you connecting with the right people to ignite this mission energy. It's already within you. It just needs, it needs um, igniting. What about June for Cancer Energy, please, Spirit? What's happening in June? Okay, we have the world. Completion of anybody stealing your dreams. There's no, That's no longer an option. You're moving into a real, yes, new beginning, a real sense of self. With this, this is a Aquarius energy as well, which is all about doing things differently, having, taking a leap of faith with the full card. This is new opportunities. This is not necessarily knowing where you're going because of, there's sometimes a carelessness energy with the full card coming through and not looking but so, like um, not being conscious about where you're stepping, but because your sensing is being activated so much in May, when you get into June, you know you, you are sensing fully which way you need to go. Only taking with you what you need um, because your home, your sense of security is now within you. We've got the Page of Swords. We've got the Death card. transformation and justice things coming into balance so where there has been an energy where you've been held back in some way this could be holding self back this could be situations around you holding holding you back this could be actively some somehow there being limitations it's balancing out you are in this justice energy something is completely transforming because we've got the death energy twice from two different deck uh, two different completely different decks as well um, but, and you are rising from the phoenix. No matter what chaos comes out, no matter what people try and say and do, you are rooted in your mission, in your body. You're grounded in the physical with this Empress activation. 
you've got victory all, all over this oh and the nine of pentacles i mean this is the winning card yeah independence personal achievement eight of cups walking away from things that really do not feel fulfilling and taking this leap leaps this leap or leaps of faith two of wands thinking about what's next being curious with the page of swords and two of wands this is like being curious about where you want to go what ignites you what what's available to you this is you really starting to come into your own and feeling inspired and with the death card as well here it's like and the completion the world it's letting go of anything that's happened in the past that puts you in an energy that is anything other than bountiful and purposeful and just we've got the king of cups I love this has come up emotional mastery emotional stability but we've got this here this sensing this water element but also with this benefactor this grace and generosity and this being in the element of water here for you this is the king of cups energy and we've got page of wands we've got two pages here for you this is being curious trying new things seeing what works but you now have the you have the freedom now to do all of that whereas it might not have felt like that before okay let's see what what how spirit are working with you through the three months so in april we're having a big deep dive um we're protecting our space protecting boundaries but we're also allowing curiosity to come in with the pages coming up uh, strongly over these three months but we're inviting information from unknown places to help us on our way because we know that we can't do this with our eyes this has to be this is an emotional journey and then we move into may and we know that we can trust our senses to take us through the dark and through the light there could be a soulmate connection for some of you this could be romantic for others this could be somebody who is in just our soul tribe soul family this is also speaking our truth um, being kind but being very firm and then as we move into June we are moving well into our mission energy let's have a look it's this one straight away popping out at me self-love this is the this is the feeling of attachment um, being connected to but not attached to divine consciousness this is your mission energy coming in your connection to spirit to the divine and we've got one more community yes we can see that with uh with a lot of the energy that's come up especially with this three of pentacles energy this benefactor energy as well everything's in collaboration over these months everything's in collaboration let me move these away without taking the rest of the table there we go yeah igniting self-love the deepest part of self-love being tapped into divine consciousness because there's as well with picking up energy from um from everybody around you some of you might have pisces a lot of pisces in your chart or pisces rising perhaps um, or other water elements in your chart a strong water elements and placements in your chart um with this with the the kind of boundaries because we can sometimes get very drained by energies even if we've got nothing to do with it energies around us um, that are kind of drawing on the emotional body so it's making sure that we know where we end and somebody else starts and the collective energy and all of these things but you're learning that through this first house um, initiation that happens in June but there's there's something around people coming in to help you could be a stranger for some although by the time we get to June they don't feel like a stranger anymore they feel like deep soul tribe connection okay let's see what spirit oh no we're gonna go here first let's see what spirit want us to know for advice over this energy and uh, for the three months what do we need to know for this journey for this three month journey right now for cancer thank you we have tree wisdom this tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. This is very interesting 
because this is not about words. This is not about signs through words or songs. This is about signs the feeling of the sound and everything is about the feeling and the sensing of everything else that is not sight so for some of you this healing or this initiation this inspiration can be coming through the trees let's get a love energy card as well because we've got this benefactor uh, energy and the soulmate energy um, and this the, all of the water energy for you. So let's have a look at heart space, heart space healing and activation that we need to be aware of. Okay. We have willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. What you're discerning is what is love and what is not love what is attachment and what is connection and that's all transforming so it's like if something's based in love and this divine consciousness energy of love absolutely it's got space if it's not it gets no space this is the boundaries let's have a look now at just some final words of guidance from spirit for you Um, we're at the top there there we are okay we have peacock spirit let it shine this is you in your brightest light you have victory after victory your brightest light is so bright because you understand this darkness and you're not going through it alone you're with you have other people to support and help and guide you as well through this groundhog spirit time to let go Time to let go of everything that is preventing you from being in your, this mission energy, this higher purpose energy, this, this mission uncovered, this don't give up. There's a courageous energy coming in, this powerful energy. But in order for that to be in its fullest, we're releasing everything that's coming up in May and June and we let go. So let go where we know things aren't right for us or aren't serving us. And we've got dragonfly spirit truth transcends illusion wow this is with connections cancer this is the truth of connections truth of our soul tribe truth of people around us and that we sense we can know somebody for five weeks and there's a connection that is more profound than somebody that we've known for five years this is really understanding what that is what that means how that transpires but also not being not going into conflict but having these conflicts when we need to in order for truth to transcend illusion and knowing that whatever chaos comes up or that comes in or that we experience that crosses our path it will pass because because truth transcends illusion okay all right then cancer i hope that this has helped you with energy that you're experiencing now in april or as we go through april may june for the next three months and you've got some words of wisdom and guidance from spirit there on your journey thank you for watching the reading with me today as always and i will catch you next time take care